Hello again and welcome to my review of the most iconic things of World War II in World Thunder. This time in this video we are going to be taking a look at the uh, Maki MC uh, 202 Italian level 4 um, fighter which is sitting in the German national tree here. Uh, well if you have played and you will have probably at this point and if you have played the German tree and tried the Italian fighters you notice that the Falco, the B plane is actually decent not amazing but pretty good but these four are well I'm a lot of a lot loss I'm a, I'm a loss of words to describe this they are crap <laughs> I mean they are totally they can't do shit I mean really they can they have no redeeming factor light um, weapons not that big ma great maneuverability slow can dive can zoom can accelerate can do crap but you are at level 4 and you buy this thing and things change and change a lot this thing basically is an MC 200 one of these with the crappy engine gone and a German one mounted. This is the same engine the BF 109 E3 carries. And the planes are very similar in weight. And as a result, what you have is a. Uh, well, it's an outstanding plane. I mean, this thing is good. It's great. It's a level 4. And believe me, this thing is as good as an 109 E3 is, except for one thing. For machine guns. Uh, 7.7, 50 cows, a couple of bows, and this thing lights very hitly, uh, hits very lightly, sorry. Um, that's the only bad factor of this plane. I mean, all the rest things for a level 4, oh my gosh, this plane is amazing. It's super fast for this level, it dives like a dream, zooms back like a dream, turns very well, not as much as a Japanese Ki-61, for instance, but it turns very well. Um, it allows you to do boom and zoom, it allows you to do uh, turn and burn, you're basically uh, a German well nine at level 4. It's that good. It's a very, very, very good fighter. <coughs> this was the first really good plane the Italians had. The first plane that came toe to toe with the British Hurricanes and Spitfires. And you can see that in the game. I mean, this thing rocks. I love it. I love it. I really gave it a try while I was grinding up the German tree. I liked it, but didn't give it a lot of. A lot of thought because I was focused on the Henkel 112 and these are pretty terrible. But now I came back to it to do these videos. Really, <laughs> this thing works. You are going to love it. Really, you are going to. Um, as I said, it's a level 4 uh, repair cost of 612. I mean, <laughs> this thing is dirt cheap. And wow. <laughs> You are going to see the game I have. It's only one. I mean, I'm going to put up uh, a couple of videos today, so I can't get very long footage on. But <laughs> this thing, this thing is amazing. For this cost, oh come on, you can be playing all day long with this thing, all day long. So well, you're about. I mean, I'm super enthusiastic about this plane, and you're about to see why. Uh, so let's get it on and stop the crap. So there we go, two ports again, you know I love this map, I always seem to do well here, I don't know why. Uh, starting, well, let I let you guess what I'm going to do. Yes, you're right, I'm climbing, <laughs> and looking around, and checking the enemy team, and doing what I always do at the game start, at least when I'm in a pure fighter, and this is a pure fighter. And the only thing is, it has no option to load bombs which is, um, well, this thing could do with a couple 
one kilogram kilogram bombs or one two five fifty. But well, doesn't have any. It's a pure fighter, but oh boy, it's a good one. So you might have noticed there was an Isaac around here. So I'm just going in his general direction and the haze. Very very close to me. So I just have to take the, the shot and there he goes. Fast kill and first kill. Which is cool. There was a Catalina. Uh, this is not a good plane to take a Catalina away, so <laughs> I'm just getting close just in case. Some shots, uh, not going for him. It's it's uh, an exercise on futility to go for that guy. <clears throat> so I just look down, choose another target, and dive for it. This uh, time is going to be that Kitty Hawk. Uh, come close in the dive, shoot, get some hits, back, it out, back out, sorry, and zoom, just zoom away, boom and zoom style, which you can in this plane. Look around, same thing as always, and dive back into the action. Level up, acquire target. That one is gone, so go for another one. Again, our friend the Catalina, I'm not going for that guy. Not with machine guns only. There you go, good shot on that guy. Some hits, and some away. The weapons are lacking. I mean, for a boom mountain plane, you really want something that's harder hitting than this plane. But, hey, you can do it and stay safe. Why not? <coughs> if you have to stick into a fight, well, you can do so. But when there are so many rests down there, I don't want to start turning with someone to, to die soon thereafter. Another dive. Hits and criticals. So my way. Look back. I got the kill. Well, it was a it was a fight. Those things are not really well well designed to send land damage so machine guns usually is <coughs> is enough for them same same as this as this taker hits and killed in one pass those lightly built uh, planes you can take in one pass but things like this blehem <laughs> are a, a little bit different some hits i don't follow it's going to take a huge time to get that guy down and I don't want to be sitting on his 6 so I just zoom away and see what I'm going to do for now he's winning a bit of altitude back I was pretty, sl pretty low so with altitude reversal and come back scan the skies look around Choose my next move. Right now I can dive again into the fray or I can go for that as you two you saw to the left. Still waking my options, but I see a lower as you two that's pretty much disengaged and is going for targets. So I dive to it. So you see in this plane like in other all the other ones, um, you have to really go for the proper target at the proper time. Get some hits. Again, SD2, I love those things. I, I I really should make a video about them, but I love fighters too much. <laughs> but maybe after the before a video I'm getting ready for tomorrow, maybe I do one video about those. Because those are very li nice little buggers and you can have a lot of fun on them. 
And if it got killed by in the air, sorry for the sound, that was my mobile. And you know the drill, come back to the action with energy on the other side. Notice where I have as possible choices. Right now, what's in that leggy? And yes, I go for him. No, not that way. Wait for him to uh, pass by, win altitude, and then go down. Want to keep my energy up. Now I see he's heavily engaged. He has a couple of hundred on his six. He's also going near our our entire zone, so I just look back to see if there's something better behind me. Right now there isn't, so I just keep on the chase, but now I give up. No sense in chasing a guy who has two uh, friends behind. First, because the guy is going to die, and second, because you are risking uh, mm, hitting or colliding with a friendly, so just let those two guys, there you go, he's dead. Let those two guys alone, they can do the job, and I can help elsewhere, so... I mean, this game is not a race to see who is the one who gets more kills, mm, even, so, even though I get a lot of kills in this game, but... Um, it, it's a team effort to win, and you don't want to be stealing kills when you can be elsewhere getting your own kills. And there's a lot of kill stealing, which is pretty sad to be honest. A bomber, which is not the best thing to kill in this plane, but well, he's alone, so... Go for him, some shots, break away... Not sitting in his six for a long while because then I'll get destroyed. Now three guys are going for him. He's taking out. Cool stuff. I don't get um, uh, an assist. I don't know why, but well, that was an assist for any means. But we're working me back up. Getting some altitude. And to see what's going to be my next target. Again, as you two breaking through. No one really engaged with him. So it's going to be my target. Look how fast those things are. Those SC twos are really really fast little buggers. And some hits. Some more hits. At least I have a guy over me, it's another SC2. But he's not in my cone on fire of fire. Look at that. That P2. What the hell? Really? Two guys on him and <laughs> another one. Whatever. I break away and I turn back. Not going to assist. I mean I'm not playing for the kill, I'm playing for the win. Go up. I see two taking out. Like an E15, a hurricane. But now I'm building up speed and taking a look at what's going to be my next target. Three blues on the light GG. I'm taking a look at exactly how the thing develops to see if I need it down there. I see probably I am. He's right now disengaged, so I can get some free hits into him. And get out. Careful as always to not collide with any of my friends. I saw a peace shooter was getting into into position behind uh, below me. So I just got him. Artillery in front of me, no reason not to take it out. Medium tank, that I can't. A million tank that I can't. Armor, uh, armor, uh, vehicle. This, this I can. So I take it out. And coming back, getting some altitude. 
And now I think, well, it's time to have some fun. Enough of the Bumanthum seat. Let's turn a bit. IL2. Heavy, heavy thing to bring down. But you lose nothing by trying, so get some hits. Try to stay clear of the buffalo. Take a hit on him. More hits on him and dead. Another kill. Back to a IL2. As you see, I didn't stack with him. He had a guy, he had a buffalo with him. I was not needed, assist. So I just kept keep keep I kept on going. I mean if I have a pass set up and I know I'm not going to hit the, uh, any melee friendly by any means I'm going to shoot. It's it's as easy as that. But if I see there's there's some risk for me to run a friendly, I'm just bubbling out. Again, have um, altitude on my side. Watching the flag just in case it's coming too close, which is actually. And just choose another target. Right now I'm sitting, I think, at six kills, uh, no deaths. In this thing, it's amazing. Artillery, why not taking it out? And there it goes, and claim back and take a look at what's there. Seems a couple of of red guys are around, but it turns out to be a whole legion of them. So I'm not getting into there. It's, it's as easy as that. I, I I'm not getting to a sea of five cons to save the asses of two guys. So I just climb away, see how they are moving. So if there's something alone, I can bounce it. But I notice there's something on top of me, which is an uh, AR-2, a uh, fast Russian bomber. So instead of going into that sea of red, uh, asking for being killed, I go for the bomber. Still, he was pretty fast and he died, so um, I have to spend some time, some time catching with him. Keeping a look on what's behind me, of course. You never lose track of that. He's climbing a bit and giving me a good shot in a few times. So, setting it, taking the shot, some hits. Keep on tracking him. He's maneuvering, so right now I know I'm not fooling his cameras. But now I do, because he stabilized it and he's going to hit me more. So I break away, reload, and came back again from a lateral perspective because Gunners won't hit me as easy as if I'm in his 6 He's maneuvering again, get some shots. Keep on turning, put the nose a lead under the horizon to keep my speed up. Set another pass. You see how much it takes to kill one of those things with, with machine guns. It's the problem with this plane, if it has one. Doesn't really have big firepower. Can get things done on bombers, but takes a while. Uh, you have to be careful not to be eaten out by his gunners. Set another lateral pass. More hits. More hits. Then the guy doesn't want to die. He's got both his engines smoking like mad and still is flying. Yet another pass. There we go. More hits. Break away again. But no, the guy doesn't want to die. And you're going to see this. It's going to be a little disheartening. The guy dives. And I get nothing. Boop! What the hell? Come on! Oh well. What are you going to do? I mean, it's a better. But that was a kill. I mean, I just obliterated that guy. Oh well, it happens. Back to the fray. Jack 7, SC2. 
I have some bombers in my back, but I see friends is engaging them, so I'm going to prioritize these guys, which are right now disengaged. And the Yak-7 has got quite a good altitude. He basically tries to zoom me, I avoid him, he goes for the other guy, and, well, dies. Turn it again. Oh no, another of those ironclad bombers. Well, not really ironclad. I mean, you can't expect to kill things easily with with uh, 50 cars and 7.7s. <coughs> but those things, <laughs> well, they take a lot of hits. See a LIGG behind me. I'm wondering, should I go up to the um, clouds and try to get that guy hiding there? I try to. But I don't see him. And that like GG is still behind me. So what I do is just um, do a reversal in the vertical and go for the guy I can see. <coughs> Level out. Get the pass ready. Try mid and there we go. The guy has seen us, so he's doing a breakdown. He's going now for some grand targets. But I'm on his six and he hit starting to maneuver. My aim is axe, what I'm going to do. Some more hits, some more hits. And here I'm closing the fight. I'm one on one with him and I want some fun. So I just don't bug out. I just keep on going for him. Keep on shooting. As you can see, my aim is not the best, but in the end, get him. That I did mostly because I was one-on-one, -on -one. there were no other friendlies around and there were no other enemies around either, so I could have gone up and bounced him again. But well, now and then you can close the fight, just for fun, just for giggles. And in this thing you can do it, it sounds very, very well. Another guy coming, so we turn towards him. It's obscured by the sun. Not anymore. I go up. Close the, the email man. Get some hits. And not turning with this guy. I mean, <laughs> I-15, I mean, the 202 turns very well, but not like those Russian B planes. So I just get some separation, some energy, and set the, set the dive. I-15 and steel. He's giving me a nice shot. I failed to kill him, but he's pretty, 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 pretty badly hit anyway. Come away, climb, set my next pass. Tap it off and come down again for him. And there you go. Another one by dust. Check the scores. And checking also who's alive and who's not. I noticed there's uh, a bomber and I saw him around here before. So I'm suspecting he's hiding in the clouds. Uh, so I'm going to investigate. And find out if I can find him or if he has moved elsewhere. So he's moving to the clouds and try to find him, basically. 
this is one of the reasons I don't really like clouds because people who just don't want to get shut down they hide in there and you get at the end of the match with just one or two guys alive and one guy hiding and it gets I mean it, it lasts forever until you find him anyway here he is I found him he was not in the clouds so now I see him I'm getting ready for for the passes he's obviously going for the grand targets so I'm going to dive on him after I got I got a good shot of him now this is direction set up my pass to make a good approach dive on him and shoot him get a friendly who's also here helping stay clear of him start shooting move away and there you go pulling back in the vertical moving back and I'm going to notice that the same guy that just died is um, coming back in Ala GG. And I'm going to get unlucky. He's going to go for the head on. I'm going to refuse it. I don't want to go head on with machine guns against a guy who has a 20 millimeter. But he gets a lucky hit on me and basically a one shot heal, pilot heal probably. What I'm going to do. So what I did was coming back in uh, CR42, the Falco, and kill him. Uh, I'm just, but I, I could the 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 uh, fraps capturing when I got killed. So I just fast forward to the end of the battle, and so you can see the results. There you go. I'm dead. And this is the end of the game. I got him, and they run away. So let's look at let's let, let's give a look at what what did I win? One unlucky death, a lot of kills, some ground targets destroyed, and look at that! Look at that XP, that that money. This plane is fantastic. And there you go. <laughs> what do you think? What? Wow, this <laughs> I'm a lot of a lot of words, a lot of words. Really, really, I am, because I had a good feeling with this plane, but I really haven't flown this much. Actually, air resistance. This I unlocked after the video you saw. I had the new engine, but I didn't even have uh, the unlock someplace. And boy, wow, you saw it. Can turn, can climb, can dive, can do anything but hitting very hard. It's the only thing it, this thing can. This thing cannot do. A uh, couple light machine guns, heavy machine guns, well, it's the only problem it has. But, wow, wow, I mean, it's, it's even not a problem because it's such a pleasure to fly that you're going to forget about how lightly you're hitting. So, well, really, really, really pick this up and fly it and keep it. It's one of my standard fighters for low levels in, in German tiers. When I want to play a low level game in, in German, I usually go like this. This I don't fly at all. 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 I fly like this and this. And sometimes this, if I'm killing those two, but this pretty difficult for me to be shut down in, in both of them so well just enjoy enjoy this is one of the best fighters in the low tiers if not the best I'm totally amazing uh, I, I love the P4E and tomorrow we are going to see a video about it before it's another level for amazing plane I love the Ki 60A1 you look so why and there's a level 4 premium Ki-61 in the American Factory, but this is better. 
this is better. So well, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you have fun watching the game. And if you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. Helps a lot. And again, any comments on the gameplay, uh, any things you want to see in these clips, uh, please tell me so in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't yet and you want to see more of these reviews, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and later.